Yo, what's up everyone? Today, let's learn how to enable and disable a fire effect pressing a key using our keyboard. So we will be uh, using and learning how to use user input service. In my workspace, I already have a part with a fire inside of an attachment already. So go ahead and do that unless you want to enable or disable something else. Like let's say a light, that's cool, totally cool too. Yeah, this works with that. It's just a matter of finessing the script and figuring it out how to make it work for your project. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a UI. Let's create a fire effect menu where if players activate this menu, they can see which button they need to press to either turn the fire on and the fire off. So inside of screen GUI, starter GUI, add a screen GUI and a frame. And I'll just be using text labels for this menu. So I have three text labels. So one of them is just a label that says fire effect and the other says Q. If I press Q, it'll be equal on as in the fire is going to be on. And if I press E, then the fire will be off. And this is just a menu. It's not a functional GUI with any text buttons. It's just a label. Okay, so once that's done, let's go ahead and add a script inside of our screen GUI, a local script. We have a variable which references the user input service, a debounce, as well as our frame and the fire attachment inside of our workspace. We're gonna go ahead and create a function for our user input service. First and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and create it. So if a player presses T on their keyboard, then the frame is going to be visible. If they press T again, then the frame will be disabled. Now this is important because the player is only able to turn the fire on and off if they have the UI open. So we're going to go ahead and set it so that if the key input key code is equal to Q, then the fire or the flame will be enabled, will be equal to true. And if they press E on their keyboard, then the fire will be disabled, equal to false. Okay, so that's all done. Make sure to disable the fire part inside of your workspace. And then let's go ahead and test it out. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go ahead and press T to open up the menu of our UI. And if I press Q, the fire turns on. And if I press E, the fire turns off. Pretty cool. So full scripts and models will be posted on our website. Link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.